Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at Ubuntu 10.04, codename Lucid Lynx. So I'm going to review this in several parts. The first one is just downloading it and installing it. So basically my first impressions here, I always go to the Ubuntu website, check the uh, system requirements. Okay, yep, still the same, very easy, lightweight operating system. You can install it basically on anything. Um, the installation, setup, screens, basically the same as the previous release to me. Nothing much has changed there uh, from version 9.10 that I installed. And uh, here, the tweaking on where you want to install Ubuntu when you go through the installation setup. Whether you want to wipe out the drive, install it side by side with Windows, for example. You can resize the free space and specify exactly which partition area you want to install things. Of course, the swap drive and all of that. Um, that was simple, straightforward. Putting a user ID and password to log into Ubuntu, of course, for security and safety. There it is, all the screens and stuff like that. So that really hasn't changed, okay? That's not where the Ubuntu version 10 is shining here. Um, now, I must say that there has been a facelift. Obviously, we've gotten away from that brownish-orange look to a purpley-gray look. So you can see here that the background already in the setup screens is showing you like a purple uh, and gray. Okay, so that's what the, the default theme, skin, the look and feel of uh, Ubuntu 10 is all about. Now, it is faster. I did notice that booting up here from the uh, Ubuntu dual boot menu, because I do have Windows installed, booting into Windows took about 10 seconds. That's really fast. Uh, booting up into Ubuntu takes also about 10 seconds. Really, really fast also. So Windows 7 and Ubuntu here side by side booting up. Both were really quick was very pleased with Ubuntu's uh, performance. Now the menus and all this stuff, the toolbar, the, the, the different options here on the right hand side, that has a few changes, okay, a few changes, especially when it comes to uh, social networking and getting into Twitter and chatting and stuff like that. You can do everything from, from one spot basically and they've added that feature in there. Um, but not not nothing to go crazy about to be honest going into the applications area on the left hand side this menu really hasn't changed much to be honest that is still the same type of options I mean it might look a little bit nicer right but uh, at the end of the day what I'm looking for here is what applications have been added under here what preferences what access and um, how easy is it to use right and can I add more stuff to it if it's missing something so that's what uh, I'm really looking for. Now, by default, it's really complete. It comes with tons of stuff to get you up and running to do basically anything you want. Okay, editing video, your word processing, um, you know, surfing the net. All of that is ready to go. Uh, the wireless that I had installed on uh, the, the adapter worked fine. The integrated video card that I had on the system uh, also worked fine. So I, I used a pretty plain mainstream system here, nothing fancy, and uh, and it worked right out of the box. I didn't have to uh, go and download and do any tweaking or anything. So I was really pleased because this was the first time I installed Ubuntu on this other uh, Intel system that I have. Now, when we go through the applications and we look at the accessories in the games, yes, there's been some updates, but nothing um, out of the ordinary. F-Spot Photo Manager is something that kind of sticks out there. And also the Quiver social client sticks out and um, OpenOffice has been enhanced. And under sound and video, the uh, PDV, their video editor that you can see there, that has been added. And the Ubuntu store has been added to the um, uh, Rhythm um, Media Box player there. So, yeah, there's a few things that have been uh, uh, enhanced, added, improved, of course. Okay, this is version 10. Okay, and we're going to review those more in detail in my next parts of Ubuntu. Okay, because we can't really review everything all in one video. So, in my next re review, uh, part two, we're going to go through the Ubuntu Software Center, show you what I installed, how easy it is to add more stuff, and also how easy it is to customize because you can get away from that purple and gray look. You want everything blue like I have here? Easy. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in my next videos, how I changed it from the defaults that it came with. Uh, enabled all the special effects and of course uh, our favorite um, 3D cube which uh, Ubuntu is uh, famous for with compass and uh, enabling the nice effects that uh, Ubuntu has to offer. Okay, so we'll review all this in my next part coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.